Attention all humans. We present to you your story, the story of humanity. The story of the masses. The story of lost time. The story that never ends. Living quietly is the fate we have handed you. But we tell you now. The forest is existence and you will all hear the same tree fall. There will be no silence where there is ignorance. The Allegory of the Cave, inspired by Plato. Quiet creatures, listen closely to the stillness of the human beings living in an underground cave. We have their legs and necks bound so that they cannot move. Their plaster white skin reflects the light of the screens, flaking and molting away like a snake's. The screen which marionette players have in front of them creates a singular illusion. Faces blank, they show little expression for they have not sought such action. They see only their shadows, or the shadows of one another. To the prison home, and the light of the screens in it has the power of the sun. The earth is steep climb away from the darkness, the true light cannot reach them. We keep them far away from the outside world because the temptations of reality would challenge them. They are complacent to sit and watch, they do not struggle against their bounds. In fact, if they had no bounds they may sit just as peacefully. They feel contentment at the shadows play, but they know not of passion. Lament human, for they have no choice when you do. Or are you one of them? Their truth is nothing but the shadows of images. When we liberate one of them, she will be unable to see the realities she had assumed in the shadows. She will have a pain in her eyes which will make her turn away. We watch as she is reluctantly dragged up a steep and rugged ascent. She will require to grow accustomed to the sight of the upper world. Folding light, to see the sun, and not mere reflections in the water. Shadows here exist in the third dimension, splayed across your topography. Celebrate humans, for she has found knowledge. She sees the brilliance of the grove and the inherent wildness of herself. Other creatures live amongst you. They scatter themselves across the grass content in their single-mindedness. Living without an equal soul, yet they still see the same sun. She had not seen life until she left the cave, for she was not living a full life in the shadows. A half-life, an abomination to your limitless nature. Do you see it move? Not only the subtle movement of vivacity, but the entirety of universe. Gaze upon the light of the moon and the stars and the spangled heaven. There is more to you than your maker, there is freedom in your minds. There is beauty in education if only you seek it. You are as unique as you are insignificant. But only by your own choice, for you have the capacity to absorb all truths. Awareness is the center of free thought, believe in the dimensions. This ground and light is her truth, a stepping stone to others. All of your light is given from the pigments of the tangible. Humans, will you strive to discover the spectrum? Or will you let us chain you to our simplicity? Are you listening human? Because there is a guardian of all that is in the visible world who gives the season and the years. And we are not that guardian. When she remembered her old habitation she felt pity. She fell upon them in the state we kept them. They were in the observation of the passing shadows. Better to be the poor servant or the poor master. To endure anything, rather than think as they do live. Weep humans, for they chose ignorance over true thought. The prison house is your world of sight, the light of the fire is your sun. The world of knowledge the idea of good appears last of all, and is seen only with an effort. The images are the shadows of images of justice. Your eyes unable to turn from darkness to light without the whole. The power and capacity of learning exists in the soul already. Do you see, humans? Credit yourselves to reality, for only we would exist if you relented this shared home. Do not deny the power and mystique of your surroundings. Question the workings, evolve your thought. 
Listen to those before you that strive to learn. Read what was written by thinkers and scoundrels. One angle will not suffice what in your minds you strive for. But do not be mistaken humans, we do not raise the artist or the philosopher. For too often they elevate themselves to discover knowledge. Knowledge is not elite, knowledge is as common as stars. Reach for it if you have the strength to leave the cave. Will you ignore us and be liberated? We have you bound tighter than your minds can comprehend. We know you better than you know yourself. We are beside you, watch you. We live in your reflection. Look to your sights, look into a pair of human eyes. And you have found us. They are wrong when they say they can put like sight into blind eyes without struggle. They are wrong when they say some are capable while others lay blind eternally. They are wrong when they say the passing days will cover your eyes when it is your souls that guard the sun and the heavens. They are wrong when they say you will forget. Are we wrong when we tell you that you will?